who is one of the best players here in the city, that being Tiltank piloting his infamous Falco. And oh, this matchup is going to be a bit of a strange one. Once Falco gets in, especially on Snake, it's going to be an absolute uh, just massacre, mm -hmm. as witnessed Exhibit A. Um, oh my goodness. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, Snake does have a lot of really good tools for possibly keeping him out. It's just a matter of whether Bubble will even get the chance to do that. Yeah, look at this. Stuck in disadvantage. Very patient, too. Tilly's so patient. She's waiting for the perfect time to absolutely destroy Bobo. Bobo. Yeah, and it's like, look, compare the advantage state there, where Bobo finally got a little bit of a, you know, Tilda on ledge, Tilda immediately got off ledge mm -hmm. and turned it into his advantage once more. Goodness. Stop! Oh. I, okay. Yeah, we got to start doing uh, general PSAs of where that C4 is, because clearly Tilda needs it. Even I... Dead. Oh, right. I was complaining. I was saying how, like, oh, Bobo, he hits him and he barely does anything. Uh, proved me wrong right there. All you need to do is play some, just some C4s and just keep Falco at bay. Because Captain Tilly come close to you is just, you're asking for, like, a 10-string combo. Yeah, oh, man. Just like that. Jeez. Oh, free! It connects so beautifully. It's just so fluid. You can tell till he just knows exactly what he needs to do it's, in order to get I you also, out that like, into Falco the blast zone. Falco has multiple moves that he mm -hmm. can go into, and you can tell he's only like two steps ahead in terms of the, where he wants to bring his opponent to continue the combo into an actual kill right there. The fact that Tilda just managed to do all of that, and here, this is a point where Snake is a character that normally loves trading, but when you're down by this much, trading isn't really the uh, where you want, you know, that's not the spot you want to be. Now Bobo is using a little more, a little more of his bombs and projectiles in order to keep Pele at bay. But even then, yeah. he's avoiding all of it. C4, keeping a very good eye. Yeah. Yes, C4. It was over by the uh, the right platform there. And oh, great right. read. And now one interesting thing that could happen here is that mm -hmm. if, in fact, Bobo is able to survive past the thresholds where uh, Falco was able to get like true kill confirms, we might see him leaving, living to really high percents. The question is whether he's going to do that. That late great, back is great. not enough. Even that's... Oh, <gasps> oh. I thought he was going to come back. Jumped into the blast zone. Just I guess the momentum was too much there. Mm -hmm. He definitely saw his the radar try. He tried coming back. He really did. But the blast zone was like, come here. <laughs> you don't get away from me. Absolutely not. The blast zone is everyone's worst enemy. But yeah, that's a beautiful, just... Oh my god, there he goes. Yeah, he just, I, 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 that's just a weird momentum thing. In that situation, if you air yeah. dodge, do you, would he not have died? I need to talk to... I need to do actual testing on this. I've heard mixed yeah. things about the uh, how air dodging, whether or not it actually helps surviving with those later percents. Anyway... Here we have game two, gonna be PS2. I can agree with this, uh, there's more room and mm -hmm. less like, uh, I'm honestly surprised when it's Battlefield game one, considering you saw the combos that Tilda was able to do given mm -hmm. the platform layout. So this time around, maybe it's gonna be a little bit- uh, A little bit little more bit room to breathe yeah. for Bobo because exactly. Tilda is just nasty with the free platform. Oh Ooh. yeah, this is what happens when go. you yep. give Bobo space. All of a sudden these traps mm -hmm. coming to fruition and Tilda can't get any of his combos started. It's a reversal of what, how game one looked. Oh my goodness. Until he's trying to get his combos in, but... Oh. Good DI from Good. Bobo. Yep. Yeah, keeps him out of the... Uh, kept himself out of the cinematic universe, as some people refer to it. Uh, because it's basically just a cutscene you can't skip. Yeah. But nonetheless, right now, you know, Tilda keeping it, keeping his head about him, his mm -hmm. wits are intact, and only about 47% been dealt, and taking Beautiful. Bobo's stock right there, that's actually a... If you're Bobo, you were, like, probably thinking to yourself, wow, I, I'm only at, like, 40. I'm doing great. And then all of a sudden... And then Tilda's like, watch this. Yeah, this and it absolutely just... Is... By the way, general update, C4 is on the white of the Pokeball. 
Oh, what just, a bait! I actually missed, missed that, and oh my goodness. That was, that was such a good bait! It he was. Because the grenade was right there. C4 is on that platform. Okay, good. Tilde was aware of it and dodged it. C4, C4 on the red. red. Oh, man. These C4s are just... It's like cool guys don't look at explosions. I mean, but he's learning, you know, all those C4 in the white. C4 is down, like... People forget exist. I forget exist all the time against like snake players. Yep. Yeah. It can easily mess up to those combos, like his string of combos. If there's a C4 just in the in the floor somewhere. Yeah. Oh man. So that side B from Falco is such good reward, but against snakes specifically, the risk is mm -hmm. just massive. That snake up tilt is notorious for being just such a good kill move. And okay, great, great yep. down smash. That's an option we hadn't really seen for the edge guard. And busting it out in game two, here where it really matters because as things are even, yep. and all of a sudden, oh, they're looking a lot less even. Those grenade conversions. Oh, no, <gasps> is he dead? I, he I, is dead. All right, my brain was not prepared. And <laughs> I was about to say, oh, now they're a little more even. They're at 67, <laughs> give or take, and then boom. That snake forward smash, you don't see it happen too you often. Really don't. But uh. But yeah, he wow. absolutely just was in the perfect position for it, so they just roll in there and just absolutely just get get eviscerated by it. Saw the future right there, and that led him to a victory, taking us to a game three between these two, and. I think that stage counter pick is going to matter a lot. You can see that yeah. Town and City and Yoshi's were banned. I wouldn't be surprised if we went back to Battlefield. I actually missed what the stage counter pick is going to be. It is back to Battlefield. Yep. Hey. Um, Hopefully, Bobo can adapt a little bit more because now, now Falco knows. Or oh, Falco, hello. <laughs> Tilde knows, hey, he has a little more advantage on the stage because, oh. that, because that's in a platform. Oh, man. Yeah, like the, uh, you saw him dropping some of those combos in game two. Yep. Uh, but we know how uber consistent he is once those platforms are involved. Not only that, less space for Snake to really try and do his stuff. Mm -hmm. C4 on that platform, good job jumping out to get away from it. Right, yeah, once again, replacing the C4 on that rightmost platform. Just have it out in the field. Might come in handy in some later date. And my, I feel like it went more handy on, the, on, on that top middle platform. Clearly, because Tilda always uses that middle platform in order to start his combos and end them. Just like wow. that. See? I'm pretty sure C4, C4 on, the middle, on the middle platform. Yeah, I mean, it does shut down Tilda mm -hmm. from going up to that middle platform. But at the same time, ooh. It's like anywhere. Oh, that thing's coming down. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that one of the big advantages to having him on the side platform is for yep. things like when he tries to side you back to the left. Just like that, yeah. Oh, that C4 might detonate soon on its own. All right, going to be manual detonation so we can get access to it once more. And here, Bobo, things are looking real tricky right now. How do you actually get the stock? Well, oh, till they being so patient. Mm -hmm. Just throwing out lasers, throwing out reflectors, knowing that the onus is on Bobo to actually, you know, find a stock, get things started. And as Bobo's a result, trying to start, yeah, he's trying to find an opening. Placing C4, placing bombs everywhere, and yep, got it. Fantastic parry. Parries against Falco are so critical because the, he loves to be in the air. That's where normal almost starts. That's where he is. Sheesh. The air is just his home. And look at that. This is now a clean stock lead for Tilde. Oh, and it's transforming even to something beyond that. Just a single hit. Oh, and it's leading to 66, and the percentage just keeps on growing. He's not off the ledge. A nice down tilt to uh, just take him on a, off guard, though. Instead of being so patient, not even, not even chasing him down when he got him over on the ledge. Oh, man, that oh grenade detonating on himself. Lost any advantage he might have gotten from that throw, and now he's at 108%. Z4 finally connecting. It's been a mm -hmm. while since we've seen that. Once more on the top platform, he took your advice. Mm -hmm. Clearly has the stream oh in his ear, goodness. but not enough. A great back air with great. some questionable DI. Sorry. It can be so hard to DI the Falcon that, moves because they happen so really fast. fast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Bobo managing to put up a really show in that game too. But game three, we went back to Battlefield. I yeah, honestly, see. I think that Battlefield is his downfall. What's so hard? Because I'm mm -hmm. like, Battlefield should have been banned. But then you look at the stages he did ban, Town and City, probably 
widely regarded to be Falco's best stage. And then Yoshi's basically battlefield, but with the a smaller blast zone on top. That meaning too. That he, and the th you're right, and, and the, the walls on the side yep. to help him out with his recovery. So yeah, winning game one was really important. I, I'm kind of, ah, uh, you know what? That entire set came down to the rock, paper, scissors at the beginning. You're right, it absolutely did. Because I bet you that that uh, Tilde won the rock, paper, scissors. And that's why he got to go to battlefield. <laughs> Oh, that was just some really good games. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's just Tode is so devious in the air. Yeah, no, he's devious on the air, devious on the ground, devious inside Everywhere. your head. <laughs>